In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this pyramid with five options. As you can see here, I have created a pyramid shape, a triangle here. Then I've added option one uh, with the text and the icon here. So the option two, three, four, five with a different color combination. And I have created one more slide where I've used only three options. You can see here. So this is three and this is five options. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose this triangle, draw a triangle depending on the requirement. Maybe I'm going to make this much size and make sure that it is aligned center and align middle. Then go to the shape outline, make it no outline and then right mouse click, go to the format shape. I'm going to fill this, uh, make it transparent, maybe a 20% transparent. Why I'm doing that one, I will tell you later. So you can see here I have made it 20% transparent if you want you can just change to some other color light color so that uh, when we do certain kind of cuttings and addings so that that will be clearly visible for us okay. So now the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more rectangle sorry the triangle by pressing ctrl D okay or you can just right mouse click and you can just uh, say copy and paste that is a long process so it's better select the object and press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here now when i made transparent you can see here the triangle which is uh, behind that is also visible okay so for this let me just give some another light color so that it is clearly visible okay yeah i think that's okay again make sure to align center align middle and then the size of the front triangle should be increased for that hold the control shift key and just drag it okay a little bit you can see here maybe this much size all right and make sure that is again center aligned all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this triangle into uh, five equal parts okay for that i'm going to use a rectangle so go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle at the bottom first and make sure that the rectangle should always be bigger than the triangle all right and this one shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give some different color here uh, so that it can be differentiated maybe a green color and here the transparency i'm going to give 30 percent okay again you can see it's visible if you want to give 40 percent also you can give it okay so here you can see here i have added one triangle so a rectangle which is bigger than the both the triangles then hold the control shift key move it up a little bit you can see here again you can depend on the uh, height you can adjust this one your requirement okay so maybe i'm going to reduce the uh, height and make it somewhat up then hold the control shift key bring it somewhat up and again maybe this much size and the other thing which i want to do is i want to add one more here which okay i think this is enough i believe so one two three four so four rectangles i have taken so what we need to do now is we need to select this rect uh, triangle which is the bigger one then hold the shift key select these rectangles all right remember i have i'm selecting only the front triangle okay not the back side one so once this is done go to the shape format merge shapes and make it a fragment here all right so just click on the fragment and this will divide or this will cut into four or five equal parts depending on the requirement you can see here i'm going to delete you can see here this is one so even this also i'm going to delete i don't want that so this also i'm going to delete you can see here and this also 
and the top part as well so i've got one two three so here i've added only three again depending on the requirement if you like to add four or five so you have to reduce the the height of this one so you can see here in this case let me just show you here i've taken one two three four five all right so depending on the requirement you can just change according to the needs all right so now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select the triangle go to the shape format shape fill i'm going to give some uh, dark color here all right and make sure that transparency should be zero here no transparency and for these as well i'm going to make it zero transparency and then we can give some different color combination so depending on the requirement you can just choose any color of your choice so i'm going to choose this blue then i'm going to choose this kind of a brown or orange or you can just choose or maybe kind of this one which is red color so three colors i have selected here the next thing which i would like to do is i would like to give a kind of effect where it is coming from behind okay so which is uh, twisting or it's turning okay for that go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to choose a right triangle draw a small right triangle here shape outline make it no outline let me just do a zoom in you can see here i'm going to put it like this then make it you can see here let me just go to rotate sorry i'm going to make it flip vertical and then i'm going to make it flip horizontal okay and then i'm going to reduce the size of this one even even if it's coming here on the top doesn't matter okay so you can see here it looks something like this now if i send this to back it looks as if it is going coming from the behind you can see here so now i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to do the same thing here and then send this to back you can do it from here also arrange and send to back okay then i'm going to duplicate again press ctrl d bring it at the top and this also arrange send to back all right now the same thing i'm going towards the right side so hold the ctrl shift key drag this towards the right and then again we need to change the rotation you can see at the moment i select the flip horizontal it changes again send this to back all right then press ctrl d bring it here again send this to back and then the last one again press ctrl d and send this to back so you can see here this is how it looks again if you want to give the same color which is color of the front uh, rectangle you can give it that can be changed a later part as well all right so it looks something like this the next thing which i'm i'm going to add is few more rectangles so three rectangles i'm going to add it here okay so select the rectangle and this rectangle i'm going to make it a uh, somewhat bigger and this should be bigger than this one okay so shape outline make it no outline and moreover we need to move this uh, uh, triangle towards the left side so for this press ctrl a to select all the objects using the you can see here using the left arrow key from the keyboard i'm just moving it towards the left side all right so here i can increase the size now and this one shape fill so let me just go to the fill shape fill i'm going to use the eyedropper and i'm going to choose this color and then i'm going to make it some more darker shade for that go to the more colors and increase the shade here all right click ok and send this to back so it looks something like this here then press ctrl d to duplicate move this up a little bit send this to back again the same color i'm going to use which i've used here which is the brown and we'll make it more darker all right and then press ctrl d so this one will be here and the color will be the one which we used here and make it more darker and send this to back. 
so you can see here i've added these three options which is encircling the triangle and then you can add some uh, detailed text here okay so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert text box here i'm going to enter the option one okay make it the font color as white center align i'm going to use open sans extra bold or any other font of your choice and then increase the size maybe 40 or bigger than that then hold the control shift key bring it down and again bring it down and then i'm going to make this as two and this is i'm going to make this as three all right and then go to insert icons so depending on the requirement you can just choose the relevant icon so in this case i'm going to use some icons which i'm going to pick randomly okay maybe this one and then some kind of uh, this information as well as maybe some bell and click insert and move this aside and make the height and width as maybe 0.5 okay and then start putting the icons here and you can see here the icons are not clearly visible for that i'm going to select all these three icons with the help of uh, the shift key holding the shift key I've, i'm selected i've selected all these three options and then graphic fill i'm going to fill this with white color all right so it's clearly visible now then go to insert text box if you want you can add the title here again if it is not visible make sure that uh, you can just change the color font color to white and press ctrl d to duplicate and here no bold reduce the font size to maybe uh sorry i'm going to reduce the font size to 12 and add detail text here maybe 14 and then i'm adding my details here select both of this one press ctrl d to duplicate move this aside at the top put it exactly position it at the top again duplicate and put it here so you can see here we have completed this particular design so depending on the requirement if you want two three four five options we can just reduce the height of this